Redbeard is kind of having himself in beer form today. It'll make more sense in just a minute. What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Bob's Bearded Red Nitro-Charged Irish-Style Red Ale by the Mill Street Brewery. Yes, indeed. I'm really not sure about the whole nitro-charged part. Uh, that, that makes the, the head all Guinness-y, and that's what Guinness uses as well, and it, it make, kind of freaks me out a little bit. And it also means that there's a good chance it's going to fucking explode when I open it, so um, it, it's right there. I gotta be ready. Let's crack her open. Yeah. Saw that happening. Okay, it wasn't bad. It's okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, this is... Yeah, it's gonna do a whole Guinness Cascade type thing, I think. Which will look very nice. Guinness... I don't like the beer, but I could watch the Cascade for hours. Look at how beautiful. I'm just gonna... I'll hold it here, and maybe... No, it's actually not taking too long. I was gonna say I'll, I'll like fast forward it, but... Yeah, it actually came out pouring pretty nice. This glass is kind of on the smaller side. Ooh, it all just fits in there. Doesn't look too bad. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world to those who watch my videos. The beer loves you all so very, very, very much. She's definitely a little on the darker side, but I guess it's kind of a... an amberish color. Red. I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this. You get it right on my nose there. That's, that's the best way to smell a beer. Get it right on your nose. Yeah, that works very well. It really does not have much of a smell at all. A little bit of like a maltiness, maybe. Hints of maltiness. Let's, let's give her a shot. Yeah. Like Guinness, this tastes 100% completely flat. All the carbonation that you heard, it all went into this head. That's where it all went. None of it is in the actual beer. The flavor of the beer isn't bad. It's actually kind of nice, but the complete lack of carbonation is is not something I'm a fan of. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. It, it, it tastes... Like, to my palate, it tastes like this beer was opened like yesterday and just left in the fridge open and I just drank it today. And all the carbonation just went away. It's it's like a Guinness. It's it's a British kind of style of drinking beer more than anything, I believe. And I'm very much not British. No. Oh, I really don't like this a whole lot. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody that does like it. It's... It's my mouth, not yours, so, you know, people are allowed to have different opinions on things. It's just the way it is. Like I said, the flavor's not bad, but even the flavor itself really isn't anything... Isn't really anything. <laughs> it's very, very subdued, like, uh... A little bit of a maltiness kind of that's there but there's really not a lot of flavor I don't know if this like if you like Guinness you, you might like this like if you enjoy that kind of flat beer I I don't know what to say about this so we'll just do something like today being January 15th on this date night in nine no no 18 1889 the Coca-Cola company 
which was then known as the Pemberton Medicine Company, was incorporated in Atlanta. Yeah. So when they first had their, you know, cocaine-fueled recipe, that, that was medicinal. Good old medicinal cocaine. Or something. <laughs> There's really not a whole lot more I can say about this beer. It's... For what it is, it's not bad, but even for what it is, it's not really all that flavorful. Like I, I said, I tend to reiterate myself a little bit in my vlogs, I've noticed. Sorry. I kind of had high hopes for this beer, too. Aside from the whole nitrogen thing, I like the, uh, the bearded red thing. That's kind of, like I said, it's, it's kind of like me, like, I guess pretend he's bald and has a bit longer of a beard. It's not even that much like me at all. 4.8% alcohol. And an Irish style red ale brewed as a collaboration between world-renowned Canadian opera singer Robert Opera Bob Pomakov and his pal, our brewmaster, Joel Manning. Nitrogen charged and beautifully balanced with local and imported ingredients, including Chinook hops from Ontario. Ingredients are water, malted barley, and hops. I guess if it's going to be like this, you don't need the yeast to get the fermentation and like, or like whatever, the carbonation, sorry, from the yeast. I believe that's what the yeast does. And there is no date of any kind that I can see. Though this, this did come in some kind of mix, mixed six-pack. The other five bottles were, sorry, the other five beers were bottles. And this was the can for some weird reason. But I actually bought the six-pack for this beer. And maybe the Roggen beer that I drank a little while ago. I think. The other four I had already had. And from the flavor I got from the Roggen beer and from this overall experience I'm having right now, I'm, I'm not super happy that I bought that six pack. <laughs> not, not a whole lot. It needs carbonation. I just, it's. I don't think I'm going to try, like, a nitrogen-charged beer on the channel for, for a while, because they, they don't do it for me. And I, and I don't think that's something I'll ever come around to. Something like a beer, like beer and pop, or sodi pop, whatever you call it, they need to be carbonated. They can't be flat. It just doesn't work. On this date in 1936, the first building to be completely covered in glass built for the Owens, Illinois Glass Company, was completed in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, pretty cool to see. The first building, when you look at it, it just blinds you if the sun's in the right position. Oh. I just want this to be over. Sorry. But I can't. There's no way I can, like... Drink number the last on that shit. That would no. That would be like the entirety of the drinks coming back up probably or something. Oh, goddamn fucking cat here. Goddamn glass. On this date in 1967, the first Super Bowl was played in Los Angeles. The Green Bay Packers defeat the Kansas City Chiefs 35 to 10. Pretty cool fact for those of you out there that like Super Bowl, football, football bowl. Yeah, I'm not a fan of myself, really. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, sports in general, I don't know, I like playing them, but watching them just doesn't really do it for me. I don't know, that, that's me. I'm allowed to be me. I don't bitch at you for being you, so let me be me. Nice thing to do.
it's very bland. It really is. I'm really not overly impressed with it at all. I was hoping for more. I thought like some kind of nice red, I don't know, red ale type thing. I don't even know what I expect from a red, red ale, but not, not that. Amberness, you know? You know? Maybe? On this date in 1969, the Soviet Union launched Soyuz 5, which was... Uh, it was docked with Soyuz 4, which was already in orbit, and it became the first ever docking of two manned spacecraft to each other, and it was the first time that people ever went from one spacecraft to another spacecraft while out in space. It's pretty cool. And apparently it was memorable for its dramatic re-entry. The service module, module did not separate, so it entered the atmosphere nose first, leaving cosmonaut Boris Volyanov hanging by his restraining straps. As the craft arrow braked, the atmosphere, atmosphere burned through the module, but the craft righted itself before the escape hatch was burned through. Then the parachute lines tangled and the landing rockets failed, resulting in a hard landing which broke Volyanov's teeth. Oh! Oh, I shouldn't have read that. Oh, that's like a... Like, one of my greatest fears right there is like getting teeth knocked. Not so much like, like losing a whole tooth. You know, as long as it's not like a front tooth, I guess I could live with. But like, I've broken. I've like, my one of my front teeth. Can you tell? One of my front teeth is like half fake. It was knocked out by a lawn chair while I was in high school. A lawn chair that I was opening. I opened it, it was like spring-loaded, it opened and... Boosh, pua, spat out half my damn tooth. But yeah, the feeling of like the exposed nerve on... Oh, like, fucking... Something I don't ever want to experience again in my lifetime. I'd be quite happy with that. Oh, just like I'm going to be quite happy not having any kind of nitrogen charged type beer for a while. Finally, on this date in 2001, Wikipedia went online, which, funny enough, is, is where I get all of my daily facts. It's pretty easy. You type in a date, and it gives you a bunch of random stuff that happened on the date, and I go through it, and I pick them, and I let you know, because it fills time. Otherwise, I'd just be sitting here drinking beer. I could maybe tell you about my day or something, but I smashed some concrete with a sledgehammer today, and it wasn't fun, so I could have maybe vlogged that or something. That would have been cool. I should have vlogged that. Fuck. Drink number the last. Oh. Another one of those beers that I really can't like, I, I really cannot accurately review because it, the style does not work for me at all. Like, I'd give that like a very, very middle of the road five. Because for what it was, generally I really don't like that style of beer, but that wasn't terrible, it was okay. So, it can have a five. Hey, and that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you got some same, you can put some cards in the box down below. <gasps> Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A Peace out! God damn it, I don't know how long it was there. It was like a thing in my eye brow. I was gonna say eyelid and then eyelash and then I said eyebrow. Because I'm a genius.